Uh, it should be tied in by like two screws and one 10 millimeter screw up at, up top right here. I'm so sorry I couldn't help you take it off, but uh, you know, whatever. Anyway, that's what that is. But the, the important part about this, all right, is you wanna make sure, get you zoomed in a little bit. When you roll this around, it doesn't take too much force, but it takes a little bit. And roll it around. Uh, all the way. Until you see that T and that F. The T and the F. Top dead center. That's what that stands for. Top dead. Make sure that is right there all the time. Alright, when you adjust your valves. Okay? It needs to be lined up to this thing right here. T, not the, the T. Anyway, that's what that is. And also, if you look over here, this is the way it really gets you. You want to look right here. On that chain right here, there should be a hole. And if there's not a hole, you need to make sure that hole is there. What you want to do is give your stator and your fan a little twist to the left, like so. Watch me twist it. I'm twisting it. Twisting. Keep it steady here. Alright, now you want to twist it. Okay, you see it? That's the top hole. And you want to just, do you hear it decompressing? And there you go. There it is. There's that hole you were looking for. That hole right there means that you're actually top dead center. And if you want to check that, come back over here. There it is, top dead center. It's, it revolves twice, so make sure it's always like that. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and proceed with the valve adjustment. Now that you know what all the parts and stuff are like that, um, this right here is actually called the um, cylinder head. The uh, the cover is right here. Up oh, well. The, that's your cover. But this is your cylinder head. Alright. So what you want to do, starting off with this, grab your 9mm socket bit, and you want to grab your 3 8 drive um, socket wrench. And you want to unloosen this, the top tack it, tack it, I'm sorry, top tap it. So, it's real soft like up wrong way up <clears throat> okay I'm gonna loosen it till it's a little rolly and the tap it is in the middle right here it's two little pieces you got right here and you got right here they were they they move individually so um what you want to do now is um take this take this thing and the one we're going to use right today is, let's use three. I'm going to go three today. And what this does is, um, I want to say the less gap you have between your valves, the less, um, the less of the, of it, what it lets in basically. Because once it's, uh, right now you hear it tapping, you might not, might can, but anyway, that tapping. Watch me unscrew it. It's more violent now. And you screw it in more. It's less. Okay, so my point is, the more you screw this in, the less gap you have, the faster it's going to be hitting this tappet. And there's going to be less room for it. So what that means is that you're going to be letting in more fuel into your, uh, into your engine the closer this is to this valve so you want to get it three thousandths of an inch pretty close and the way you tell how that is make sure your screw is kind of close and you want to screw it in until you start to scrape a little bit and it should be 
Yeah, it should scrape just enough. I tighten mine just a little bit and lock it into place, and I take something that's bigger. If I use three thousandths, I go four thousandths. All right, and if four thousandths fits in there, then it's not properly adjusted. I need to go back and tighten it down a little bit more. But always remember, heat expands metal, so heat is gonna always expand. So if you got this kind of close, when it gets hot, it's gonna be really close. And when it cools down, it's gonna go back to where you set it at. So I think that's fine right there. So now you wanna go ahead and tighten it back into place like this. Don't put too much torque on there. Just a little bit so that it's locked into place. Got a little knocking right there. And you wanna do the same thing for the bottom. Okay, just for the sake of the video, I know I'm gonna go ahead and show you um, the bottom part too. So this bottom, I usually set it at either 005 or 004, which is a uh, four thousandths of an inch or five thousand of an inch. But I'm probably gonna set this somewhere around. Uh, let's go four, maybe even four or five if, if you're you know great at math. But anyway, see how it looks right now. Four is actually sliding really well into there, so it's not really that tight on four. Let's try five. Five is a little sticky, but it could be a lot stickier. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back in, and we're gonna adjust. So let's get the 05, stick it under there. Remember, heat expands. So you want to get it a little less than what you think it's going to be. All right, guys, so uh, that was pretty good. You know, you did great. Yeah, guys, you finally adjusted your valves on your moped. So congratulations. Um, now all you got to do is put the head back on. This is the easiest part. All you got to do, take this. And just slap the cover back on there like that. Flathead, all right. What you call it? Your eight millimeter. Go ahead and feed your bolts back in there like that. As you can see, I'm not putting them in all the way. Just making sure they're in there. All right, and make sure for this last one, you do loop this. All right. Make sure you put that through there like that. All right. Just want to zoom in so you guys can see that. All right, make sure you put it in there like that. And then you want to put it in down here. Okay, so that's in there. I don't know if you can see it down there. Put it back into the hole that it needs to be in. Now all you gotta do is screw the rest of them in. All right, and now I am finishing the last one. You don't have to talk, put it in too much. And you want to grab your rug, throw that back on there. Or mat or whatever you want to call it, man. Whatever. Alright. Now, move you back a little bit. Put your cover back on, like so. Seat. Get your seat back on. And that's how you change the valves on your moped, guys. Very plain and simple. It's not hard at all. Um, I'm glad you guys could enjoy the video. And, you know, I'm glad you actually watched the video. <laughs> so, uh, stay tuned for more tutorials on some crazy stuff. This is Thin Couch Mango, and that's my new car over there. So, I forgot to show you guys that. But anyway, yeah, peace out, guys.